All right, we're in the room where all the carvings are that were entered for competition. So I'm just going to slowly go around. Maybe I'll make a few comments about one or two. Here's the youth group here. Get his finger out of the way of the camera. Sorry about that. Here's the youth group. Everything from rugs to ornaments. Here's one by a young man named Daxton out of Utah. Daxton's only been carving for a few years, but he's doing a wonderful job. Got first place. He's the grandson of my wood supplier, Tom Checkets, and so it's nice to see Daxon is doing really well. He was all the ornament sections. Terry, Jerry McNulty, I just talked to his wife, April, a minute ago. All these different ornaments you see out here. Everything from cottonwood bark to butternut to basswood. I don't want to touch any of these, but I want to see some of those on the back. I like that one back there. See, this is one of my favorites. I'm a big Bob Ross fan. And there's a carving of Bob Ross in his painting. Sarah with her little angry kid. If you saw that on on Facebook, that was a really good carving to watch be created. Here's Pete's carving. He did well last year, so it's good to see him back. Caption on that one, some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. I hope I never have that problem. This is by my friend named Mike Ch Michael Chamberlain. He entered this in our show back in Idaho for the fair, and it won best of best of show for the hobby section. Another one by Michael. Michael's cowboy. A really, really, really wonderful job there. Oh, here we go. Dave Dion, who's carving last year, won best of first place in the show. So nice to see this one. Infallible golf. I don't know what that means. Sarah's cowboy. Uh, <laughs> Jerry's work here. I didn't see it going anywhere. It did a nice relief card in there. But I mean, to do something like this, I'm in Spanish. A lot of times you put in the quality of the film. I mean, it's built. So one thing I, I got to say, but coming here this weekend, I got to come here. This looks almost realistic enough to want to take a bite out of it. I like this curbing back here with all these figures on the back of oh, wow, this is fantastic. Here we got Don with his chest set. And this side is one sort of people, and this one is another. Sort of people. Um, nice carving. I don't know. Here we go with the best. I don't have a lake. I mean, uh, you don't have a lake. There you go. 
You know, Sarah, you hear in the background. As you see, that's how far I got in here. That's all I got. Just slide, no more. Um, there's a, I mean, there's like maybe a layer you don't see that's kind of in the resin. It just has to get up to enough to have it. Yeah. Well, it's resin and then you put the color with paint. I used uniform spit. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Oh, these miniatures are so gracious. These are tiny little carvings, two by two, for one by one, I think is what they are. Yeah. So much detail on these little ones. They're there, but you've got to use it in advertising. They probably do. Yeah, they probably use it to cast over the stuff. Asinine? Cray-cray? Well, when you keep carving those... Here's Michael's bird brain entry. Here's the bird brain carvings entries. Nope, that's fine. Good luck. Pass all the chickens here. Holy smokes. I'm always impressed by people who can do them and make them all look the same. I did two carvings that look like three different ones sometimes. <laughs> Fish sticking up out of a bottle, yeah, that's creative, I like that. And that don't matter to us. We don't look at that. Yeah, yeah, so we have a barrier. Do we have a barrier? Here's one of mine. There's another one of mine back there. At some point, I run out of words to say it. So some of these carvings are just fantastic. And then you see the creativity. And here's Sarah with more of her creativity. Look at that. It's just fantastic. Santa Claus is that people are carving. <laughs> Santa says, shh. Have you been there all day? All day. Oh, I love this one here. <laughs> no, I just finally found a quiet place to sit. <laughs> Find your corner and sit down. Find a good corner.
First place winner for the third place winner, my fault. Third place winner for the bird brand contest. Look at that. That's the first first place bird brain, third place overall. Third place overall. Bob's correcting me over here. Thank you, Bob. I thought I heard you say it wrong, but I, I wasn't sure. If, if I don't say something wrong, I think I'm not saying anything. Are you in my book? <laughs> I might be. Page, I think, 26. I'm sure I've talked to you before, but I've talked to a lot of the other guys. Oh, it looks like me in church. I think it's around you. Sorry, Lord, I didn't mean to say that. It looks like you. That looks like me about 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. But if you'll notice, I'm not the only one. So oh, geez, yeah. So, you know, nobody has a corner in that one. Anymore. Well, how long you been a member of this thing? Oh, uh, since 2008. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw this one. that in Utah. Yeah, it's a fantastic car. If you don't know the story, this is from Mr. Rogers' TV show when we were kids. He invited a, 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 a black guy, a black cop officer. I'm probably getting the story wrong. The black cop, the blacks were allowed to swim in the same water as whites. Uh, Mr. Rogers was invited him over for at least a second of the food, so not technically swimming, but anyway, this is one best to show. Best, uh, congratulations, Sarah, that is just fantastic. And what do you do with all these ribbons when you hang them up on the wall, though, so Sarah did a great job. So that's all the carvings we have in here for the competition. Oh, you have drop the camera. Oh, beautiful. Large room full of carvings all over the place. Bruce Ian looking over them over there, making sure they're all right. Thank you, Bruce.